This article just came out with some new data saying that San Diego had the biggest year on year home gains of anywhere in the United States. Now it says it's new data, but it's actually a little bit lagging. It's from December. The Case-Shiller Index is what they use for this, but San Diego home prices were up 8.8% year over year, according to the Case-Shiller Home Price Index for December. Now that's compared with a 5.5% increase nationally. So why are San Diego home prices still rising and what is causing that? That's what we will get into in this video. I'm Chris Erickson with the Beach Life Group and you guys are thinking about making a move. You got some questions. All of our information is right down below. We got your back when making the move here in San Diego and be sure to subscribe because we're dropping new videos here every single week, all things San Diego real estate related. One of the biggest factors that is causing home prices to continue to rise throughout most parts of San Diego is the number of homes for sale. So sale inventory growth year over year for San Diego is down 5.6%. And you're thinking, okay, down 5.6%, not a big deal. But when we compare what has happened over the past few years, just as the number of homes for sale. So the actual for sale inventory is down. So we're only down 5.6% from last year, but comparing to where we were in 2020, 2019, 2018, these are kind of nor more normalized years, at least 2019 from here, but before this. So anything above that 4,000 homes for sale is kind of like a normal market. Obviously you can see after pandemic, 2020, 2021, 2022, everything got significantly lower. Now, during these times as well, prices were going much higher, much faster. There was also a lot more buyers out there. And part of the reason we had more buyers is because interest rates were so low. If you're looking back to that time frame, interest rates were in the 3% range for a long time. As interest rates rose, a lot of people decided, you know what, now is time to make the move as interest rates are going above that 3% range. It also started putting pressure more on the homes that were on the market because the number of buyers out there started to surge. As we got into higher interest rates, the number of buyers waned a little bit, but still the number of homes for sale was relatively low. So if the home sales, the number of homes for sale is relatively low and the number of buyers is relatively high, obviously that's gonna push prices up. So starting in 2020, going into 2021, there was 11.3% home value growth, 17.9% for 2022. This coincides with the, the time that the interest rates were much lower, pushing more buyers into the market with not many homes for sale. Even from 2022 to 2023, a 5.9% increase. Now there were times that it did go down a little bit, but year on year, it did go up. So going into 2024, we're at the 8.1% price growth. So right now we're sitting about 2,400 homes for sale as opposed to that 4,000 plus homes for sale. So until we get this number tracking up a little bit, home prices are gonna continue to rise here in San Diego. Now, part of the way that this can slow down the, the price appreciation is going to be the interest rates here. Now, this is five years, let me just zoom into one year. So it did peak out 8.03% over in October, as interest rates fall, you will see more buyers come onto the market. Right now, we're holding, we were above seven for a while. We just recently crossed back under the 7% interest rate mark. Now, this isn't for every rate. Obviously, talk to your lenders, see what your exact rates are. You got jumbo rates, VA, FHA, all kinds of different programs and stuff, but this is a good trend line to, to, to follow. If this is falling, then a lot of those other programs are gonna be falling too. If this continues to fall, into the mid sixes range, maybe even low six range. Now I would expect prices to continue to accelerate as they have been, unless we see a flood of homes come on the market. So what can we expect going into the rest of 2024? There's a few different scenarios that can play out. I think one of the biggest factors is going to be the number of homes on the market out there. If we see a sharp increase in that for some reason, a lot of sellers come on the market, they decide it's time to move, even with elevated interest rates, that's part of the reason why a lot of people think people aren't selling because the majority of homeowners are locked in at super low rates. So to move up to a new property, not only is it going to be more expensive in the purchase price, but your mortgage is going to go up significantly. Even if you're taking a move up buyer, let's say your equity from one house, bringing it to another house, the monthly payment is going to be significantly more because interest rates are up and the house is going to cost more. But if we do see a lot more homes come on the market, I think 
prices can moderate a little bit. So elevated inventory house, the number of homes on the market going up where mortgage rates stay about the same, then we can see a little bit of moderation. We'll probably see growth, but maybe not that 8.8 to 9% range that we have seen over from last year to this year. The one more scenario that we could see play out coming into that typical home buying season here in San Diego, where we do see maybe an uptick in the homes for sale, but if interest rates do drop well below seven, maybe even into the low sixes, that's gonna bring more people, more buyers who have been sitting on the sideline or potentially been priced out into the market because now the rates are gonna be a little bit more affordable. People like tend to move on these big moves in the interest rates as opposed to what the exact number is. So if we see a big downswing quickly, you might see a lot more buyers hop in because they see it as an opportunity. And if we still have the limited number of homes for sale, then that could bring prices up significantly pretty quickly. And there's a few other different scenarios, but stay tuned to this channel. We'll bring them all up as we make more videos. But if you guys are thinking about making a move in 2024 and beyond, all of our information is right down below. I'm Chris Erickson uh, with the Beach Life Group Real Estate Agent right here in San Diego. And we got your back when making the move here in San Diego. Oh, uh -huh.